Hello everyone, welcome to Red Men TV. We are partnered with The Athletic, theathletic.co.uk forward slash Red Men TV if you want 50% off your yearly subscription fee with the service. We get some great writing and now podcasts and all that jazz. Uh, but we're here today because former Echo writer and now athletic journalist uh, James Pierce has picked his Liverpool team of the decade despite the fact that there's a month left of the decade. Um, I've got Jack Gill here with me for this one. Um, I've apparently been doing this across the Athletics, so obviously you can check out all those other ones as well. But uh, Piers, he's picked his one. Um, what are your impressions on the side that he's picked? Let me just read through it. Allison in goal, a back four of Robertson, Van Dijk, Carre, and Trent Alexander-Arnold. Then it's 4-2-3-1, so it's Gerrard and Fabinho uh, behind Mane, Firmino, Salah, and then Suarez centre-forward. If I had a big pornographic content stamp. <laughs> Phil. There we go. Oh, it's it's, it's got an OnlyFans, hasn't it? Yeah, that, that, that's it's, a, like, it's, it's, it's a very, very, very strong team. And it's hard to argue. It's hard to it's argue. It's hard to say and even harder yeah. to argue against. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's just sensational, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, the thing is, for me, there's so much recency bias, I think, in this. Mm, or I feel that there's recency bias. But also, it's, it's fair because... Liverpool were terrible at the start of the decade. We started the decade with Roy Hodgson as yeah, manager. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we had we had we had the Hodge at the start of the decade. It was it was a weird time. And then obviously you had the rebuilding process where you've got Kenny coming in and then you've got the 13-14 period, which is where we had that little if you drew it as a graph, it's just like uh, and then you get the spike at 13-14 and what have you. But it's it's I have to kind of cast my mind back because you got five years of Steven Gerrard in this decade, but they're probably, you know, Gerrard, yeah, it's not peak Gerrard in this period, Yeah. but you can't not have Gerrard in the side. Yeah, exactly. I mean, just out of interest, who would you put in over Gerrard if you had to? I, I, for me, I would be sure in Gerrard in regardless. Of, I couldn't okay. care. Yeah. I didn't care Same. if his last season, because he, was, he wasn't great in his last season, if that had been the first year of the de of consideration and we only got that one Gerrard season, I would still be forcing him in here. I mean, look, it's worth noting, there's two, Jamie Carragher only played in three seasons of this, yep. I think. He yep. retired in 12-13, didn't he? So, you know, you're not even getting Pika. He was starting to be phased out a yeah. little bit around, yeah. around that time. But... It's Carragher. I want him in. I, I want him in this team. It's a tricky one, and, and it's there's a very strong case to be made that you just go <laughs> the current the, the current team because you know I, I wonder whether Jesus just changed the four two three one simply to put just to keep. I think he's done it to keep Firmino. Yeah, yeah. I, I I'd agree, and I mean there's a case for should Iago Aspas be in there. There is no, there is not. Victor Moses on the right hand side. Yeah, yeah. But you Flanagan. can make you can make a case for I think Coutinho. You can make a strong case yeah. for Phil Coutinho yeah. in this. You can make a case for Raheem Sterling in this as well in mm -hmm. terms of the out, the outright quality. I think it then becomes a struggle because. I think Nathaniel Climes was was good, but I don't think he's at the level of you know in terms of what yeah. he can do as Trent. Glenn Johnson had a, a li I was okay when we first signed him, but again I think he struggled. He struggled after I that. I tell you one player, Daniel Sturridge, because yeah, actually he he's been he was terrific for us. He really was, and then at the end of his Liverpool career, I know he had problems with injuries and stuff, but actually in terms of Sturridge, he produced a number of very good seasons for us, two or three, didn't he? And and I think I think I I, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be able to argue with him being in there either. Very interesting stuff indeed. Uh, I want to know from you then, because obviously, look, we're going to be doing our own Red Men TV Team of the Decade, and we're going to be picking our Player of the Decade as well, but we're going to be doing it at the end of the decade, which is the end of the month, but we want to know your thoughts, feelings and opinions on this. So obviously, let us know players who you think should be up for nominations uh, in terms of particularly Player of the Decade. I want everyone to pick their top three Players of the Decade for the, for the Mighty Reds, uh, and I want you to list them in the comments underneath. But but also, because we're going to be assembling this team in the decade as well, I want your top three players for every position in a 4-3-3. That means I want three left-sided centre halves, I want three right-sided centre halves, I want three left-sided eights, three right-sided eights. You get me. Um, put them in the comments section underneath this and then stay tuned for the Christmas festive period. We're going to get through Christmas, we're going to head towards the new year and it's going to be unleashed the first ever Redmen TV Team of the Decade Awards show. Um, so make sure you stay
stay tuned for all that. And if you want to give Percy some stick over his team, which I don't think you can, I think it's a bloody good team, you can obviously tweet uh, at James Pierce um, on the fact what's he called these days at Twitter, James Pierce Liverpool or something, it's fine. Um, but yeah, make sure you get your athletic subscription as well, theathletic.co.uk forward slash Redmen TV, um, and you get 50% off your yearly subscription fee. Uh, but yeah, if you want to find out what team I've gone for, what team Jack and what team everyone at the Redmen TV have gone for, yeah, make sure you stay tuned to uh, the Redmen TV. TV.com around the festive period.